is this a smart branding move? Is this grasping for tr for straws? How you does know, this strike you? It, it smacks a little bit of desperation. Don't get me wrong, the idea is a great idea. It's surprising no one thought of this before, but for Intel to put its brand behind this is pretty risky, really, given that its brand isn't in the strongest of positions in the last few years anyway. So I'll be, I'll be surprised whether they can meet the expectations of reality TV viewers who are watching Shark Tank and The Apprentice while still making it build their brand. That said, I mean, Mark Burnett is no slouch. Lucas, what's your take on this? I mean, I think there, there are two things at work here. One is that technology just occupies a far larger part of culture than it once did between social media and different consumer-facing tech companies, whether you say Uber or Airbnb. And Hollywood tends to reflect whatever's happening in society. So you have one of the biggest shows on HBO is set in Silicon Valley, titled Silicon Valley. And so it's kind of, it was bound to happen that you're going to have some reality shows set in that same world. Uh, the other part is that I think Hollywood hopes that if you have a tech show, you'll appeal to a younger demo. You see with all the TV networks, the average viewer tends to be going up. Uh, and so whether it's partnering with Intel or putting a YouTube star in the middle of a show, they're trying to reach people who might tune in at, who are between the age of 20 and 40. GE is sponsoring its own show called Breakthroughs with Ron Howard. Is this a continuing trend? Yeah, there's this actually a story in one of the entertainment trades this morning that on the, the fiction side that I think NBC or CB, CBS was working on a, a comedy that was loosely inspired by the people you may know feature on Facebook. You're definitely going to see more and more shows, whether it's nonfiction reality or fiction, that are, are set in, in the world of tech. James, even though you think it's a little bizarre, do you, do you see, could Intel actually incorporate some of these ideas into its business, or is this purely a branding opportunity? Purely a branding opportunity. If you think about it, if there's someone out there with the next big idea, they've already taken it to Kickstarter. And they're not going to sit and wait and say, ooh, a million dollars from Intel, who I then have to partner <laughs> with for the next few years, which, you know, isn't necessarily a bad thing. But you don't have to wait for the big guys to hand you the money anymore. That's the change of the digital economy. You can go out and get the money yourself on Kickstarter, Indiegogo, and I think those ideas are already out there. So if not start a reality show, what does Intel really need to do? to get its business back in line. You know, it really it comes back to putting some amazing products back out onto the market. The, the problem that Intel has is the Microsoft problem. You've been known for doing one thing for so long, and that's the thing that makes your shareholders happiest. And now that thing isn't as important to the world as it used to be. You've got to innovate. Microsoft's done a pretty good job starting to innovate. They've come up with a variety of new products, new services, cloud services, and so on. We're not seeing that innovation out of Intel, and moving your brand forward is not going to be sufficient. All right. Well, the show's coming out next year. I'm a little curious. I'll, I'll, I'll be watching.